Hi, Rick here from Marv Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. Okay, so if you're greeted with your startup screen and you have this new firmware update is available, you're going to have to update your firmware. Now, there's a couple of sort of rules of thought I have. Um, if you've got your craft for the first time, I would suggest updating the uh, firmware, just going for it. If a new update comes out on the, um, if you get an alert for a new update, um, I typically myself, I tend to sit on the fence for a couple of weeks. Keep an eye on the sort of the forums and the Facebook groups because sometimes they'll bring out new firmwares. There's a few bugs in them. They've got to roll it back and you can have a lot of hassle. So it's worth actually just making sure, you know, when there's nobody reporting any bugs or any odd happenings in the firmware, then it's typically okay to proceed. Um, now, it's very simple to update the firmware. Just click on the update now. It's going to basically give you a wee rundown of what's actually in the update. So you can just download that now. Download. Now, if you are using a tablet um, that doesn't have data, because the Wi-Fi on the phone is connected to the controller, you wouldn't be able to download the update. So the sort of flip of it is if you're using a tablet etc that doesn't have it then what to do is um, you'll have to obviously connect back to um, your normal wi-fi network in your house to download and update the firmware if you're obviously using a device with um like 4g which i have here then obviously it, the phone can be connected to the craft and then it uses the data to download the actual firmware so we're typically at 19 percent at the moment depending on obviously in your uh, data or your and would you call it your um, your Wi-Fi network? Will depend on how long this will take. But what we'll do is we'll just cut that until it's uh, fully downloaded. Okay, so we're almost there. We're sitting at ninety nine percent now, and that's one hundred. Whoosh! Off goes the paper airplane. And now the um, the update will now update the uh, craft. So obviously very important, you don't turn the craft off. That Before you even started, the craft, the craft, basically all your batteries are at least 50%. So obviously the device batteries and the ones on the craft and obviously your controller as well, because if there's any updates for the controller, they will be in there as well. Another thing that's worth checking as well is the batteries also require updates now and again. So you may actually find once you've updated all this, you put the battery, the, your other battery if you have one, into the craft and you switch it all on and it says it has to do the firmware update again so the good thing is it won't need to download it because it'll already be downloaded onto your device so that's sitting at nine percent so what we'll do is we'll just pause again and let that update now if during the update you will notice that the lights on the craft start flashing unusual order or if i let it hear the fan coming in and out in and out and you hear the funny beeps and stuff, nothing to worry about. It is literally all the different uh, systems on the craft are updating like the uh, Cs, which are the electronic speed controllers, which power the motors. They all have firmware and literally every system on the craft, you'll notice the gimbal will be twitching around, etc. All perfectly normal. Okay, we are almost there. We are at, uh, whoop. We're at 99%. You hear lots of beeps, etc. Just at doing its finalization, it'll probably reboot itself completely. And then it will finish off saying, Please manually restart the craft, click on OK, and what we want to do again is normal procedure for switching off, push once, push hold, and that's off, and then again, push once, push again to turn it back on again. And you will now see on here, on the app, we have got a update complete. and we will be able to enter the device. And as you can see, of course we've gone back to the um, ATI mode because we're obviously indoors, so it will not pick up that. And that's it um, uh, updated. Another place that you can check for updates, if I just move this in closer, if you click on the main menu, 
sorry, not the main menu, into the status, as you'll see there, overall status, normal. But normally that would come up and say that there was a firmware update. Now, because I haven't um, restarted the app, it still thinks there is an update required, but this is another place that you can up actually update from. You would come in here and then update from there. We're not gonna do that because we've obviously already updated it. Hi, I'm Rick from Marionville Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. I hope you found that video informative. I am an independent dealer and I do need your support. You can either purchase your products if you're in the UK via the link in the description or you can use my DJI affiliate link if you are not. Uh, I also have a Patreon page so you can donate from as little as a dollar a month, even just join for a few months if you found this video was helpful and you feel like giving me a little reward. Uh, as I'm an independent dealer, I do need your business. Uh, so fly safe and uh, tune back in for the next video.